Hi everybody and welcome to this, the first part of my Wii review. We're going to look at the system itself, um, the online capabilities, the games available, uh, the console, the controllers, what's coming out in the future and why really it's the best console available to buy at the moment in the world. It's sold just over 1 million units in the UK in 32 weeks, that's faster than anything including the PlayStation 2. It's almost caught up with the Xbox 360 that launched a year previous to the Wii and currently it has sold around 10.6 million units worldwide. So let's get down to it then now. The first time when you switch your Wii console on, it'll ask you to go through a load of stuff, uh, the position of the sensor bar, um, your favourite colour, your birthday, the name of the console, all that kind of stuff, where you live. When you get onto the Wii menu, it will look similar to this, but not quite. The top left, you will have the disc channel, which is whatever game is in um, the console. It can't play DVDs or CDs yet. Uh, the rumour is that it will either be a firmware update in the future or the Wii Mark II which will play them. So those that bought the original and are hoping for DVD playback you may have to fork out another £180 for another Wii but hopefully that won't happen. Okay what else have we got here? Well other than the disc channel Currently I have in the disc channel uh, Wii Sports, which is a packing game. It's the first time a console has had a free game with it since the SNES launched with Super Mario World back in 1994. Other than the, the disc channel, you have the forecast channel. This is powered by weather news and assisted by NASA. It will give you the weather for your location or anywhere else in the world using a 3D globe. <laughs> Similar, we have the news channel. The news channel will, as it says, be constantly connected to the internet via the We Connect 24 service and will give you round the world news um, in categories including sport, technology, science, entertainment, and your local or regional national headlines as well. The Wii Shop channel. This is where you can shop for virtual console games and new Wii channels. Um, most of the channels are free. The internet channel you now have to pay for, which is 500 Wii points, and games available to download range from the NES, SNES, N64, there are Sega Mega Drive games and Turbo Graphics on the system as well. Probably the most used channel on my system is the Wii internet channel, which is powered by Opera, and it's Basically, it's got the internet on it. You can use YouTube, Bebo, MySpace, whatever you need really from the internet, and it's on your Wii on a big telly, so it's perfect. You've got the photo channel, which I will start for you. Um, they're all photos on, which are either on your SD card, which you put into your Wii in the front of the system, um, or the photos that you have on the Wii message board. So I'm going to show you a bit of propaganda now. If I can find it, um, I will probably start with that one there. That is a picture of Nintendo President of America, Richie Fusame. And I'm not sure if you can see the caption underneath on your screen, but it says, Call as Kitty again, I dare you. That's probably a bit better. Okay, we have the Sony Grill Station 3, which I'm sure a lot of you will like if you're watching this. And a spoof of the PlayStation 3 and the text reads, We stole the Rumble Pack, we stole the Analog Stick, we stole the third party developers, we sort of stole the sequel to GoldenEye, and we wish we'd stolen Rare. Now we're back. Sony. And it says in the bottom right corner there, Sony, what Nintendo creates, we take. Which I think is a pretty good analysis. Again, um, a copy, the original, the first issue of the official Nintendo magazine had the same ways to play, same ways to innovate, and a whole load of good Nintendo stuff, so a spoof of that, same ways to steal, overpriced, to cheat, to rip off, to annoy, to make money, to copy, to bankrupt, and a load of other stuff. I don't know if you can read that there. And then we have an awesome game, Twilight Princess, which I will be showing you a bit of a review on later on. Okay, if we go back to the Wii menu now, you can also edit the photos on there at your leisure, make them bigger, blur them out, and you can watch your movies or videos that are on your SD card as well. If you look above my TV screen, you can see lots of purple dots. That's actually the sensor bar. Don't worry, you can't actually see that. Uh, it's just my camera is picking up the infrared that's bouncing off the sensor bar. Okay, and the final channel we have is one of the online ones. It's called Everybody Votes Channel. 
and it's an online voting system where you can basically submit a question to Nintendo and every few days they update it and one of the current ones at the moment is have you ever seen a shooting star and it gives you the two options of yes or no uh, you put your me which I'll show you in a minute what the me's are but you move your me to whichever answer and then you can also predict which you think will have the most answers and there are worldwide polls, regional polls, national polls and a whole host of others okay so what is a me? well let's take you on and show you what a me is A Mii is basically a small character that you create that lives on your system and is used in games such as Wii Play, Wii Sports and upcoming games such as Wii Fit. Um, there's a few celebrities on my one. We have Mario. I don't know if you can see him there. There you go. I'll zoom in a little bit. There's Mario. And you can pick them up and wiggle them around. That's kind of cool. And we also have Brock from Pokemon. He's on here. And wherever he's gone. Celebrity, we've got Michael Jackson. If you can just about see that. He's kind of good, and um, in fact we'll make him a bit bigger so you can have a proper look at him. There is Michael Jackson on the Wii. So, that's pretty good. Um, I've also got Peter Kay and a few others, Mario, Luigi, Wario. And it's basically you create them and they live here in the Mii Plaza. You can also, if you're connected to the internet via Wii Connect 24, uh, look at other people's Mii's using the top right button, which is the Mii Parade, and you can take them off other people's consoles and put them on your own. When you create a new Mii, it's very simple. You've got either male or female to choose from. Uh, you can choose a look-alike, and it will give you a whole list of options of who your person kind of looks like, or you can do what I do, which is create from scratch. You can choose their face shape to begin with. There's a whole host to choose from there. Uh, you can change the skin colour of them. And next is the hair. And there's a whole host of hair to choose from, male and female. A big afro. Um, there we go. And then you've got your eyebrows. You can make big eyebrows. And you can increase the size of them or decrease, make the angle different whole host of things and then you've got eyes which you move on to and after the eyes you've got the nose and then finally you've got the mouth whichever you decide to be and that's pretty much it and you can move them around you can use some glasses or some shades if you want as well and then you can change the height of your meat and how big he is and everything and then lastly you need to give him a name and he will then go into your plaza with everybody else Okay, so that's pretty much an overview of the system. Uh, I'm going to just hold the Wii, go back to the Wii menu, which is like the main hub. Uh, the Wii pointer is very sensitive. It works from around 3 to 5 metres, maybe more if there's clear space. Um, the Wii controller itself is very small. It's probably around 7 inches, 8 inches tall, the Wii controller. It's not very big at all. Um, maybe even less than that. I'll just hold it in front now so you can see it. There is the Wii mote. And that button at the bottom, that light there, indicates I am player one. It's got a power button for the console at the top. That does the console, not the controller. It's got a D-pad. It's got a big A button. It's got a minus, a plus with a home in the middle. It's got a speaker built into the controller, a one and a two. And it's got a B trigger on the back there. And that is it. You can hold it sideways for some NES and Classic games and then vertical for others. Okay, right. Well, we're going to go on and I'm going to do a quick review now of Wii Sports and then we'll move on to some other games. Okay, as I mentioned earlier on, Wii Sports is a pack-in you get with the Wii console and it comes with five sports games available to you. There are tennis, baseball, bowling, golf and boxing. They're all much simplified versions of the real sport, and if you want something as deep as maybe FIFA or Madden or any of those sort of games, this isn't for you. This is very simple. Get used to the controller, okay? Great for multiplayer, up to four player people can play at a time on some of the games. Uh, tennis, bowling, and golf are for four players, and the baseball and the boxing are for two players. I'll just show you a quick game of tennis. Um, it's all in doubles and you control, as you can see, you control both people on your side of the court. They move around on their own. This is played just using the Wiimote, no nunchuck, and, well, this is it. It's very simple controls. You can hit four hands, 
or backhands depending on the side that the ball is on. Sound is very good, you get vibration and sound effects out of your controller as well as your TV speakers. It's crisp and clear, the Mii's are well animated, their facial expressions when they get the point or when they don't get the point depending. Um, you can eventually, um, occasionally you'll see sweat coming off their brow or they'll be frustrated. Uh, the audience jump around and cheer when it was a good point played. Uh, you can play smashes, you can twist the Wiimote in your hand to put a spin on like that. And you miss the ball. Um, I think probably the tennis is the one you will come back to the most as it most feels like the actual sport. Um,